Are you interested in the Creality CR10 V2? Then let's open up the box. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are opening up the Creality CR10 V2. I'm a huge fan of Creality printers. They are easy to use, great for beginners. Um, if you're considering being a beginner, the CR10 V2 may be the printer for you. We're going to talk about that more in depth. Um, the Ender 3 V2 has also been released. That printer is honestly where I got started was the Ender 3 V1. Um, not the Pro, but the V1, the original Ender 3, is where I started. I actually have two of them, as you can see from some from the other videos. But today we are focusing on the brand new version. It's been released with some upgrades, some really cool tools to it. The CR10 comes with the um, Z-axis bracers, uh, which was not on the original one. This one has print on resume and a power failure. So let's open up the box and take a look. Let's get this thing open and take a look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got all the parts on the table. The main bed looks just identical to the original CR10, but with some changes. There goes the tools, whatever. So there are some changes to it. Um, there's still the six pin rollers, everything, but there's more electronics in it than there, what there is in the original CR10, and that's a change because of the frame. And what Creality's done on the new one is, as you can see on the original CR10, we only had one Z-Rod. Now we've got two two-stepper motors to kind of help keep that balance, keep that strong. We've had a major change in the fans. So the fans now are blowing on both sides of the, no of the nozzle as it extrudes. Um, this is supposed to be an all-metal hot end, um, but I will have to eventually open it up. And another big change is, for this printer, is a full metal extruder mount. This is purely metal, and you also get the... Um, the uh, PLA or the filament outage sensor, uh, which did not come standard on the original CR10s. So this one, uh, while it is blue, it's pretty. There are some additional electronics and additional stepper motor you didn't have before to help control the arm's motion. So that are some some of the big changes. Some of the software changes to this printer is also resume on power failure. So if you have a power outage or something. It picks up right where it left off and resumes your print. No more failed prints due to a power loss. You know, that is a great feature. It's a huge savings of PLA for me. Um, to figure out how to splice it and try to save my print does it for me. So really awesome thing. The plate, it comes with the Creality uh, ceramic glass plate, which is what I use on most of my printers anyway. So really cool. Um, it, as I also said, and you'll see me put this together here, it gives the bracers for the Z the Z axis. So it's going to support and give this a stronger so we don't have any flexibility. It comes with pretty much all the tools you need to put this together. I do recommend an additional tool, Carpenter Square. That way when we're trying to make sure the gantry is at a perfect 90 degree, which we need to get correct prints, this will be your friend and make that a little bit easier. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to start putting this thing together. We'll see you guys at the end of, the, end of that.
All right guys, that's the assembly. The printer's put together. We've got the bracers to help keep the axis going. Um, ceramic plate, control box. I do like some of the changes they made with control box. They are now the similar clips as computer power supplies. So the control box can be completely disconnected from the frame. Uh, that's something you don't have on the CR-10. It's actually, the control box is tied to this lower frame. Um, as you saw, I had to install the stepper, uh, Z-stepper over here. I've got the fans going, I've got the control box. She's a little noisy, but she's brand new. Um, another big change with this printer is the CR-10 original in the control box came with just the micro SD card. This one comes with full SD card size this time, so it makes it a lot easier. Some of the other goodies that came with it, of course you have your test roll PLA you saw me pull out. And also it comes with SD card reader. Most of the software you need to get started. Um, I myself use Cura um, and Mesh Mixer, but also it comes with a good supply of spare parts um, that you'll need to get started. Uh, if the Bowden tube goes bad, there's spare nozzles in the bag. Um, there's even a spare stepper. Um, you have all pretty much all the tools you need. Comes with the putty knife. I'll get this out of here. Comes with your snippers that you'll need. <laughs> oh, cardboard box is beating me. Uh, comes with the snippers you need to cut PLA, stuff like that. So uh, you do get a starter, 200 grams of PLA. Um, I normally buy the one kilogram spool myself, um, which you'll put right here. You've got the PLA sensor. Next step is calibrating this guy and getting it to work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you please like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more work on the CR-10, it is definitely coming up as we get it calibrated and get it going for its first prints. And then start talking about modding and different things about that. Um, I'll also do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two CR-10s. Personally, I'm really liking what I'm seeing with the changes with the new one, especially with the airflow here on the nozzle, um, because it's getting airflow cooling from both sides. Really going to help the PLA and the cooling process and, the, and when it's being printed out. So this is the CR-10 V2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.